Hey, it's Ricky Carruth. Ricky, this is Patty. How are you? Well, I'm doing just fine. How about you? I'm doing pretty doggone good for everything that we're going through. Oh, we ain't going through nothing crazy, you know? This is just life, you know? You just take it one day at a time. Take it one day at a time and just stay busy, you know? That's the name of the game, staying busy. Yes, sir. Stay busy, you know? Look, right now, you stay busy. You keep your mind off what's going on, and you are super productive because of it. Yes, Kill two birds with one stone. Amen. Well, I've got the question that I was asking is I've got well, I've actually got a couple of different families that I'm getting pre-approved right now, and my lender doesn't seem to think that there's going to be an issue. And um, they're around 300, 350 k And my question is, how do you go out and show the homes when you're already compromised with age and health issues? You don't. You don't go out and show homes right now. If you have underlying health issues and you're older, even if you're, even yeah. if you're me, right. I got an 80 year old grandmother and a five month old daughter. Like I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going, I'm not going. How are you showing them? I'm because not, I'm not. Okay. Yeah. I'm okay. not, not going to, not going to so risk. What are you saying to the people that you're getting pre-qualified? I'm saying, I'm, I mean, if they're wanting to go look at houses, maybe I'll find an agent that's willing to get out there and risk their family's life right now. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to refer them out. You know, if those buyers are that ready to go and they're ready to go look at some things, then I'm probably going to refer those to one of those, you know, um, daredevil agents out there that's out there making it happen, you know, mm-hmm, more power mm-hmm. to you guys. Um, mm-hmm. You know, and I'm going to take 25% or even 50%, whatever I can work out with them and let them handle right, it. Right. I'm going to wait for right. this thing to blow over. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. I, I, I totally thought so. My husband, he's, he's older. He doesn't have the health issues that I have, but um, he's, you know, I don't go, I'm not going anywhere. I've been self-isolating since March the 2nd. And I thought all of a sudden now I've got two people. <laughs> what do I do? You know? <laughs> So there, you know, there, there's a lot of stuff you can do, you know, if they're just yeah. gung ho, ready to go, you know, we're firm to one of these agents that's out there making it happen that, you know, isn't too worried about it. But if you're older, you have under underlying health issues and you, you can't risk it. Okay. No, you can't no, risk sir. it. I mean, it's not worth, it's not worth it. No, sir. Not worth it. Very true. Very yeah. True. So, well, so I, I really appreciate you answering that question because yeah. I thought, oh, I just, it was really bothering me because I haven't gone out. My husband's been the one with the mask and the gloves and the senior, you know, shopping and stuff. And it's like, ha, ha, ha. So yeah. I, I really appreciate your, your real honest 